let us object. So, uh, goal tonight. Obviously, case two, we're going to finish. Uh, case three, we're going to start. Case three of this game is kind of notorious. It's considered, like, the worst case of the, of the original trilogy. It's not as bad as people make it out to be. There's just a couple of really, really, uh, really uncomfortable plot points that come up in it. And I mean uncomfortables and creepy. Also, there's a character that's extremely annoying, but it's a very, very... It, I like the case. You'll see when we get to it. There's a theme to the case, I'll say that. Is your Japanese... Japanese shop a Japanese... Yes, it is. Uh, this one? Yeah. Uh, it's Japanese eShop. Um, I'm the only friend on it. That's supposed to be a human... That's supposed to be a me version of, uh, of, of Dr. Alphys from Undertale. Because I had a me of that character, and I'm like, you know what? She would have a Japanese eShop account. Anyway, it's 10, it's 9 9.30 a.m. or whatever on uh, June 22nd, I think? Whatever. Do you have any games you... You got cut off there. <laughs> um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? You Do you have any games you've bought on it? Uh, I have one game I bought on it. Alright, I don't, want, I don't want to get too distracted here, but... Um, there is one game that I paid for on that. I, there's a couple of games I've downloaded that were free to download, but the only game I've actually bought is this G-Mode, which is like a cell phone game, Tetris Diamond. I wanted every Tetris game that's on the Switch, so I had to buy this one too. This is literally like a port of a mobile phone, like a flip phone Tetris game. It's a G-Mode game. G-Mode. Um, I have gotten a few other things. Namco, Namco Collection with a T. That's, that's Japanese eShop only. Um, I don't know if there's any others that I still have, but there may, there may be one or two. Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in our murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Morning! Two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother's coming today to show her support. Y yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience and watch today. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough to win without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. But Pearly, not this again! Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. She's so cute. Phew, thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? Uh-oh, uh-oh, what's gonna happen? June 22nd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. It's 2017, by the way. If you're wondering what year this takes place in. I fell half asleep earlier. Uh-oh. If you need to go to sleep, go to sleep. Don't don't stay up just for my sake. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fey. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? You're good, it was just that one hour. Yeah, it's the same with me. If I lay down after work, I start falling asleep. Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolishly fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who's never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. 
Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Fay. Ugh, it's true what they say. Women are really scary when they fight. Ugh. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. It's very loud in here. That the defendant could have left could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. All right, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. W what? But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. But then what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Maya Faye, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I'm a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Ah! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that's correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya, then. S spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Yes, that is... Ooh! You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya. She escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order! Miss Fey, please testify to the court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. Ha! <laughs> Get it, Aunt? Auntie? Maya's escape. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke down the door and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted away from me. She thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. Lying through her teeth. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Crack? What the fuck? Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing, however. Yes. But you are sh physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Objection! Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Fey. Ah! Blech. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have, however... With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. You fainted? 
I became dizzy, then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps. Perhaps. But then again, perhaps not. Hmm. And certainly the defendant almost went somewhere in that... And almost certainly the defendant went somewhere in that time. Happy. Witness, elaborate on that point for us. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Question further, obviously. So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true... Then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that the witness was not able to confirm this. But there, the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve, that's what. I think we all know who that is. Looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. I can't see a crack in her testimony. What should we do? For now, we should try and get more information out of her. After we get more information from her, we may be able to use it later to our advantage. Just now you said those two. Who were the two people you were referring to? Oh, come on, Phoenix. I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry, I simply could not understand her atrocious English. Not to mention, she looked awful. Can I see people in the Heartland gearing up for a riot? In any case, I've already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Mm, what did you do after that, Miss Faye? Wow, <laughs> asshole. Was it really necessary to have two people do something as so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Fay. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Fay, please continue. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head, and the strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. That statement I gave you was a lie. But, but why would you lie about something like that? It's very painful, me f painful for me to say this, however... The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes, it was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That, that the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? Well, pray tell, did she... Oh! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there's always later. Yes, very well. Ugh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? That's enough. From what I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the channeling chamber. Hmm. Hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes, that exactly should be... Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Miney? 
I think you could see where this is headed. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, Eeny Miny. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see, I guess it's, like, most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what it means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Fey. Is this correct? Um, well, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. This is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine. For my sake. Spine. After the murder. Like, when I, the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long, and I was so happy in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, totally told me something, like, really terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really now, your honor. Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling at the time. Uh, are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness? Like, yeah? In your ter testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. I'm like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Mighty, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it, Eni? She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Y yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that the spirit would go so far to use a medium to get revenge. It's a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This... this testimony just now. Was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Tapestry. Tapestry? It's tapestry. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense would like to cross-examine cross the witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolishly fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one last this one more entertaining than the last. Crash examination. Pow. Like slamming the L button. Was that because of your um sesame allergy, was it? Like that's right. I like think there were sesame seeds like in the lunch they served that day. I had this like premonition that it was going to be a totally seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm, I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Do you know the time? Um, um, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think. 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not talking about the time now. 
I meant what time it was when s that someone came into your room. Oh, so like that's what you meant. Like you should have been more like clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So like what was I talking about again? N never mind. Witness about this person who went to the side room. Oh my god. Are you absolutely sure? I guess? You guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Secondly, I'm an only child. Hmm. But more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright? The defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, Witness, how did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Miney? You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but, like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult? But I, like, know all about the Karine channeling technique. The point is, the witness here immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, that's what she said. Or what she said. I didn't make a that's what she said joke. Shit. Hmm, should I drop this line of questioning? So you really didn't think anything was strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But- OW! Don't keep badgering her. You know you the fr you know the phrase objection? Could you try that once in a while? Mm, Mr. Wright, this question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? It's very important, although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Alright, Mr. Wright, Miss Meanie, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like, totally cool with that. I wasn't, like, scared of her at all, and, like, her costume looked, like, totally normal. So there was nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance? Yeah, like, nothing was, like, weird. Hmm. Hmm? Means talking to herself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? Go off, queen. Anyway, costume looked normal. If this was after the murder, it should have been all bloody. That was a very well-spun lie, Miss Eeny. What are you blabbing about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well-constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and... But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. B blood spray. Miss Miney, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Whoa, whoa, excuse me. Um... Order, order! Miss Miney, what is the meaning of this? Miss Miney? I'm thinking, don't interrupt me! Um, that... Eve. And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, uh, well, uh, I, uh, I, uh... That witness, her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get in the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry, I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Ugh. Judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's going to be. It's always an uphill battle. After the murder, part two. Like, the side room was kind of, like, dark, you know? So, like, the costume was, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber... Hmm. Yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't include the blood. 
You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? All right, I guess not. Very well, you may question the witness. After the murder, part two. Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how's my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Phoenix Trite. You're gonna be hearing that name come up eventually. Like, okay. Ugh, can't breathe. Get me out of here. You didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gum with her at that time as well. That's, um... Are you going to tell me that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Hmm. Continue. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But, like, I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go apologize with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah? Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better, too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner, the better. She says with her whip at the ready. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one thing, Miss Miney? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Um, when you were in the side room, we're going to the crime scene, arrived at the crime scene. We're going to the crime scene. I know, I know what to go here, here. Talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. Roaster, yeah. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm, do you think, Mr. Wright, that there was whether or not there was something odd in the way to channeling chambers all that important? Yes. I ask because it's very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. I do. Very well. Miss Miney, if you will please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to, like, the channeling chamber. What? All oh, right, it's too early. There we go. I mean, technically the ball could have worked. I finally found the fault, or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. Crack. Take a look at this urn. Like, urn? There are cracks. Do you see them? So? Like, what does that prove? Objection! Who cares about some worn-out old urn? Like, yeah, I already, like, said I didn't see, like, anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. I didn't, like, totally say anything, like, and see, say anything, like, about an urn, did I? It looks like you still don't understand. I propose that if you had really been walking along the winding way at that time... There was no way you could have not seen this person. I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Yes, and how is this child relevant? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh, and she just happened to break this urn. Oh. Oh! Wait, she broke the urn? Yup, she accidentally knocked it over with her ball. Ah! And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. Wh what? Oh, fuck! 
Miss Miney. Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. I, was like, yeah, I went, like, full New Jersey there. That wasn't even New Jersey, that was like Wisconsin, almost. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. I think I've sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar. Ah! Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. About what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. Objection! The witness just testified about that. That's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? There's no way. Your lies end here. What do you... The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep during the si in the side room. Excuse me. And I say that's not possible because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? Uh, help me, Mia. It's in the evidence. It's in her testimony just now. Help me, Mia. What's happening? Hmm. May have overreached on this one. Is there really a contradiction somewhere? Don't worry, Phoenix. You're on the right path. It might be a little hard for you to see the contradiction, but it's there. So just this once, do you want me to help you out? Yeah, sure. Please, I need your help right now. Hold on. First, calm down, Phoenix. Good. That girl, she slipped up with her words. Her words? If she really was in the side room the entire time, then she just testified about something she shouldn't have any knowledge of. Is that part of the script or... yeah. And what is that? The rest is for you to figure out on your own. Mr. Wright, what is your answer? Ah, okay, time to add another bluff to the pile. The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there's clearly a contradiction here. Earlier in your testimony, Miss Mani, you made the following statement. My answer is Baja Blast. God, I could go for a nice, uh, sparkly Baja Blast right now. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Ba -bum. Bum, boo -doo -doo -doo. And, like, Miss Morgan was, like, the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. S so Like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how did you know that fact? H how I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by way of the winding way. Gwah. <laughs> but look at the manor guide map. If you were of one more go to the side room into the channeling chamber between them, but I would have to use the winding way. That's the right way of saying that. Yes, that's right, Your Honor, which is why. I, ask this, I must ask this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh... Miss Miney, please answer the question. Go for a Costco strawberry ice cream, so good. I haven't had Costco sheet cake in a while, that stuff is so delicious. Don't ask a question off a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix, right? You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miney. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? She was in the side room, clear now. Miss Miney was here, of course. What? But... But that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Order, order, order. So what is... Ah! Uh, Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eeny Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I- I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? 
Bam. Here, of course. Behind the folding screen. Ah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. Ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. See? You stupid jerk. But being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball. No, no, Miss Miney. One so young as you shouldn't be saying, Shut it, Gramps! You know exactly how, as if you know exactly how old I am. I mean, according to this, 21. Oh, it's your sister. Never mind, deceased. Doesn't list the age of dead people. I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. Miss Miney, how you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Why is this song, like, lower than the other music? Ah! Th th that tiny little box? No person could fit inside that. Sorry, but your theory's already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding in it from me. This song is really good. It's one of the best objection theme- or er, corner themes. Um... Shouldn't likely have been older than 25, at least. Very dependent on what sort of nurse she was, though. Yeah. But that clothing box is in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm. Mr. Wright? Do you think you could prove that where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Yes, I can with some evidence. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid, as if there's any evidence in that old thing. But this is- this- what on earth? Move! I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clo the clo uh, the clo box, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen, which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the screen. It went through the screen and into the box. Yeah, Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Doctor Gray. Ah! Uh! Order, order. So what are you saying? That then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Miney? That's exactly what I'm saying, Miss Eeny Miney. You were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To masquerade as Maya Fey? She had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No. Stop. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. Correct, it's not possible. It really is impossible for one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow! Need I remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. Wait! Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? You can't be serious. <laughs> Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. Take that. This person? If it wasn't someone from Karine Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan... Faye... Isn't that that wonderful lady witness we had earlier? earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? <laughs> you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? Ah! I don't. 
I don't know what kind of scream. I think this is what really happened. The murder had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. Sorry, like, auto- like, making the text all appear at once makes the screen scenes go away. The murderer crept silently between the- towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Faye with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But, that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Dr. Gray was not actually dead yet. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that's why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. And pretended to be Maya Faye. But that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Faye chased us out. Damn, damn. Oh, trust me, this case is still not over yet. Don't worry, we still got a little more here to go. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. Huh. <laughs> who, who is that, laughing at a time like this? Ah! Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? Miss Von Karma? Surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world?! Mr. Phoenix Wright. That's a good- that's another good clip I should put in the stream deck. There's a clip from an old- there's an old Conan bit called What in the World, and there was like a sound effect to, get, to go with it, of people going, What in the world?! I should put that in the stream deck. I, I really need to update the stream deck after so many years of not- uh, not years, but so many months of not doing it. I keep saying it, and I don't do it. Your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And, that is, if this witness is the real murderer, why would she have gone through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, Pretending to be one, putting on this whole act? What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Eh? Well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eeny Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? Where's her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say, too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. Uh, motive? That's... Can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What was her reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. Uh, is it that or is it something else? As I thought, you bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix, right? Just great. Now even she's called me by my full name. I think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes! Oh, that was actually the right thing. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want me to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senile, stupid gramps. 
I'm like going to explain. So like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like wanted revenge, then like I wouldn't have waited this long. And um, besides, like the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like, Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She, she's back to her airhead persona. Persona! Airhead. Ouch! I missed what he said there. I was looking away. Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. There we go. Sorry, I was fixing something. The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Meanie said... Miney said is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated, and she had no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there's no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. My denture's about to come out, excuse me. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. <laughs> what happened? I thought I had her for sure! <laughs> See? It's just as I, like, told you! I hoped you liked your slice of humble pie. Very well, I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Miney. And... Interruption. Your Honor, please, allow the defense one more minute. Alright. <laughs> you can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Miney had an alibi, then... Uh, no motive, excuse me, she did have an alibi. Why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I... Can I really do this? Am I not totally con I'm not totally confident here, but I know that no I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you could do this now. Only you can do this now. She had a Motorola. Yeah, I got distracted by that. This was 2017. No, well, she might have had a smartphone by this point. Though everyone has flip phones and, and brick phones, despite it being uh, so far in the future. Then again, you have to remember that this game came out in 2003 initially, so... Uh, back then, you know, the brick phones were still the still the norm. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. <laughs> too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination's already ended, after all. Ah! Will be possible in Japan, because it's also still a thing. True. Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix, right? Wh what? Y you're supposed to be on my side. I... Avon Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Phoenix. And I don't care if you're my witness. So help me, I will throw you out of my way. N no way! Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross examination after we reconvene. H hey, wait a second here! June 22nd, 12.04 p.m. Defendant Lobby number three. Is it really true about my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Eni could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt, Morgan. That, that's terrible. Why why would my aunt... Everything is going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix, right? Ah! Miss Von Karma! Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? The Samsung Z Flip, which is a smartphone and a flip phone. True. I saw your video on it. Gotta pick up my lunch order, those bentos. Mm, my your aunt sucks. <laughs> Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation. Say your own situation. Ugh. Looking down on me, even though we're the same age. 
Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, theoretically, her father would still be alive, just in prison. This is kind of weird. Like, this kind of set set this weird precedent where everyone's thinking, like, is the death penalty just, like, given to everyone in this that gets found guilty? Is he already dead? Like, they don't really address it. They just use the vague term about him being gone. And I could tell you for a fact that, no, not every murderer in this series gets put on the death penalty. Because later, in a later game, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to say which one and when and who. But a, a, a murderer from a previous game shows up again in a later game. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. Twelve ten p.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Court will now reconvene. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Miss Meanie had an alibi? Motive! Why do I keep saying alibi? It's right on the screen and I'm not saying it. Yes, I believe I can. Eeny, Miney, and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Miney, please testify to this court about your car accident last year. Car. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to ask me, like, about my motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Miss Miney, if you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think it'll do any good, but... Last year's accident. As opposed to this year's accident. That was, like, last year, in May. Like, something really bad happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then, so it was 13 months ago. And, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up with a jolt because of a jolt, and, like, there was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Hmm, I think I've heard of this incident. It was in the talk- it was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Well, <laughs> Those were merely rumors. Totally baseless gossip. Hmm, yes, Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miss Miney's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this from another angle. Why was Mia not in that last scene with us in the- in the lobby? That was the malpractice incident where 14 patients died, right? Yeah. What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was because the medicines, like, got mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister, Mimi Miney? Like, no way. Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis. He said it's nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report has already documented that it was entirely Mimi Miney's fault. Which means, as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Miney is the one who made the mistake. Oh boy, it's really bad. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I even want to explain it. Oh, well, you'll see. But, like, it really wasn't my sis. And, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. She was totally tired. You mean exhausted? Like, she had to pull up to police and, like, it was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder then that the car accident happened, huh? So then, why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I meant switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true. Ah, uh, but like, I don't like have a driver's license. This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss Miney. Hmm, Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Okay, anyway. I was like totally pooped, too, so I like fell asleep in the passenger seat. Holy. 
The accident happened at night, correct? Yeah, like, it was like at 1am or so, I think? I had like a paper due, like, really soon. So, like, I hadn't slept and was working, like, real hard. So it was because of the two of you that you were so tired that this accident happened. Messed that up. I, like, woke up with a jolt and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. And your sister, what happened to her? I... I didn't see her. The car was, like, totally black and there was, like, a ton of smoke. I, like, totally had, like, no clue what was going on. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Please tell us more about your escape in detail. I, I, like, kept wanting to forget that time, so, like, I don't remember the things about the accident in detail anymore. Hmm, well, it's alright, no need to push yourself. I think I, like, gave an interview after the accident? Like, that would probably be the most accurate, you know? Hmm, it's, that's the article, if that's, yeah, if it's that article, and I've already got it. I, like, didn't have my license, so, like, I couldn't take over driving for her. That's not true. Eni's photo for her driver's license, Director Hottie's treasure possession. Miss Miney, that was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. There's a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license, even though it looks like you you all the time anyway. In the same exact clothes. Um, hey, Draco, thank you for the follow. What's the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Uh, um, uh, that's, that's right. Uh, yeah, I had, like, a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. No, oh, you had it. <laughs> you had it at the time of the accident. Director Hadi, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What? Are you talking about that perverted fake clinic doctor? People are like random people are like sending me messages tonight. Yes, that perverted fake clinic doctor. And how did you know he was perverted? Ow! No one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Director. Hey, Fingen. Like, last November. What? N -n -n november The accident happened last May. That's a half of your lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What in the... That's what happened, Mr. Wright. Wow. The judge, the judge just, like, taking the piss out of you for that. At the time of the accident, Miss Miney did not have a driver's license. Er, ow! Cry and my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm, like, glad you get it, but... Like, even if I had my license... I, like, don't think my sis would have, like, let me drive. Hmm. Ow! Don't just stand there humming to yourself. Not you too, Mia, with the whip and the pain and the ow! I like that line. Miss Miney, why do you think there was this... Miss Miney, why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Eh, um, that's because... I think this situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Miney, if you please. Eh, like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry, didn't mean to be mean. I wouldn't be allowed. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, totally a big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would let say things like, No way am I letting a noob drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Hmm, I see. A bright red car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. <laughs> hmm, not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but... Yeah, by the way, Phoenix canonically doesn't drive either. He has a, uh... He has a, uh, He rides a bicycle to court. So what do you mean by really close? I had one of those, like, permit things. I think that's what they're called. Um, permit. Wow, the big-name lawyer doesn't even know what a driver's permit is? Well, this lawyer never had a permit. Wah! Ignorance is to be whipped. What is with her? All she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So, like, may I continue? 
My sister was like this totally big fan of cars and blah 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 blah. She valued cars? How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out at like the drop of rain. And like, she would notice if someone like touched the car with dirty hands. Oh god. Someone just asked me what my favorite color was, and then they sent me a Picru generated like like NFT ape image. And I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> it was it was a joke, obviously, but I got I got got good. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Why'd you take such a pers special care of the car? How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. New car? Like, you wouldn't want to get it, like, dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? I would think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but... I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Oh, yeah, you want some cars? I got a lot of cars. You should come to my house and look at my cars. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, alright? Well, Miss Money, what kind of car was it? It's so weird to think that Vinny's Jay Leno impersonation turned into an entire fucking character. That, that got him to a million, million subs on YouTube. Bright red sports car. It was a new car. A new car! Yeah. She had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. <laughs> the UK. Where were those, were those her boyfriend's initials? And it was a really special model. She had waited a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the next obnoxious, obvious next heart. It's obnoxious. I really don't know anything about cars, but I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor. Yes? Please have the witness append what she just said to her testimony. Yeah, you got very mean, Morty, Vinny. Some of his bits lately have not been landing with me personally, but I mean, that's just, you know, that's him. That's, that's just me, like, not liking his bits. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. Oh, well, if you like cars that much, then... That's not my point! But to be honest, I don't know what the point is, either. Miss Miney, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. My sister's new car was, like, a totally special model from England. I haven't really watched you do to school and other stuff since, what, Final Fantasy VI? Wow! That was a while- that was, like, what, 2020? That Vin did FF6? That was back when Kapusi was still the new meme. Whatever. I mean, it's fine. I know, you've been watching Mike as well. So it's like, you, you have less time for the other streamers. Hold it. I yelled hold it pretty forcefully, but I don't actually know what to ask about cars. Ask for the heck of it. Um, so yes, what am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with this. Why are British cars good? Like, huh? They're expensive, and their driver's seat is opposite to our cars here in the States. It would seem there's no benefit to owning one. Like, huh? The whole steering wheel on the right side thing, it's kind of goofy, isn't it? Y you! What do you know? Well, no, yes, in Japan. Remember, though, that this was localized to take place in America. So, it's still opposite. Actually, I believe in the Japanese version, they say it's an American car. So, so the, so, again, it's, it's swapped. That sleek shape, the purr of the engine, the wild way it starts, the smooth handling, the rough thing of the manual tradition, the cool breeze of the AC! Uh, for forgive me. Personality really changes at the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. She, like, would say things like, no way am I letting a noob drive my car. But it's a 4x4, four four. no. Actually, the car that they show in this case is an American car. They just say it's a British car. So I believe it's an American Camaro. Uh, I don't know which year, though. If you look up uh, the Ace Attorney wiki, it actually people have actually figured out what, it, what the car model is. Was your sister good at driving? She was, like, totally awesome. She, like, she said she was going to be, like, the racing queen of the nursing world. Somehow I think she bumped my question off track again. That's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. And that was when the accident occurred, correct? 
Like, yeah, I, like, immediately reached for the passenger side door and, like, fled in a daze. Hmm, sounds like you had a terrifying time. There's something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural-sounding testimony. But we have to attack it, and by doing so, a flaw will show itself. It has to. Do you really think so? Believe. There's a path, I know it. Hmm, Mia almost sounded like a prophet there for a second. My sister's new car was like a totally special model from England. I was like totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep but I opened the right door and like got out. And I don't like remember anything else. That seems a little odd, doesn't it? If this was a British car. That wouldn't that mean the right door is not on the passenger side? Miss Miney, do you remember this article? God damn, it's just a two. My dad would be so not happy with a car that's just a two and not a four. Yeah. Two by four. Four by four. It's an article about this accident. You had this to say in it. But I had, but I opened the right door and like got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat on? The left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car. But it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them are riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be on the left side. Ah! What do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there... And that means you were in the driver's seat. Ah! Order! Order in the court! Order! Order! Or ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. Amy said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what Amy said, yes, but that's where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix. Looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court in question. Eni or Mimi? Who was really driving that night? The answer is the one person who had their driver's license. Mimi Miney. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said... The witness, Miss Eenie Miney, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. Th the next question? Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? <laughs> what sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This witness's name... This witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name is... That's worth half the health bar. Mimi Miney. That is your real name. Objection! Of all the foolish dribble, then how do you explain her appearance? This witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery? This is the picture she gave the doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. No! But Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. But then, the body they found at the crash site... That was the body of the real Eeny Miney. What? Yeah. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? Eeny Meeny Miney Mo. Catch the culprit by the toe. Hey, Karma. That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eenie Miney. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Eenie. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Your Honor, 
I'm sure you could see now why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? Ah! What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of the nurse that had died in the crash, Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible. Because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive. Ever think about how in the real world, Phoenix would have been barred for contempt of court just from general conspiracy theorizing? Yeah. To be fair, the, the prosecution does that a ton, too, so... A little bit of pizza dough. And the fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And... And... And that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. W well, Miss Eni, I mean Miss Von Karma, wh why'd you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. W witness? Yeah, there would have been arrests ages ago. I mean, to be fair, in the real world, most of the court stuff is done before the trial even happens. The finding out evidence and all that stuff, piecing the stuff together, that's not done in the courtroom. Everyone been disbarred, no one's allowed to perform law shit, yeah. Law- oh my god, I said law, weird. Francisca Edgeworth the Von Karma also be arrested for contempt, yeah. Yeah, hey Karma. I said hi, didn't I? Also, hi Izzy, as well. Also, damn, she used her own sister, how deplore- well, okay. We're- hold on, we're not done. That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. That quack doctor. He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Whiny wanted her old sister to because disappear because of this. Take that! That's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right. The person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap... Mimi Miney had a car accident, in which she lost her younger sister. The timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in that accident, and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channeling mumbo-jumbo. Mumbo-jumbo? Becoming Eni has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult. I hate it. I hate it all. Fingerprints, yeah. Blood tests. Actually, I brought this up yesterday. I brought this up yesterday, but... Maya's fingerprints are on, on the murder weapon and the knife. But if we were to believe that she had actually channeled... Uh... Mimi. Then, and she physically turned into her. Wouldn't that mean her fingerprints would have been Mimi's fingerprints? So why were those not found instead? <laughs> Like, I know it's a small inconsistency, but it's still really funny that they didn't think of that oversight. I believe there are a few still unsolved riddles here, such as... Why did Miss Miney choose to go with such a complicated plan? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This... This is preposterous! I... I'm perfect! Me, Francisca Von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Yow! Oh! Ah! Ow! 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 Ah! Ooh! Ah! Ah! 
And one more for good measure. F Phoenix, hang in there, Phoenix. Phoenix! This court is a fraud, a sham. Get bent once again. Leave all her body would change, her fingerprints would still be the same. I don't think so. If she physically turned into her, that means her hands would be the same as the... Whatever. Well, I mean, it's a law procedural that involves supernatural. I don't think anyone really cares about the logistics of any of this. Yeah, true. Attempted murder and assault. Now then. Yeah, yeah. Miss Von Karma just tried to kill Phoenix there. She should be arrested. Looks like it's some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness. So I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. I like how Phoenix isn't there in that, uh, image either. That is all. This court is adjourned. Will be battery, yeah. 313 p.m. Congratulations, Maya. S sis It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis. Sis. I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis, in my dream I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Hmm. There is still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then, you and Lada would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Faye who had just committed a murder. She had planned it down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick. Congrats, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out of yet another jam. Well, you know. But I really don't want something like this to ever happen again. I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, now my aunt. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Miney with a plan like that? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into Karine Village. And that person will be you, Maya. And? But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? The Branch family. My aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be... Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was also Pearls would become the next master. Yeah, Phoenix needs a ton of Neosporin now. She should probably go to the hospital, honestly. Y yeah, I could see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think I thought she was just saying, I thought so. Date and time unknown. Detention center. Solitary confinement cell. 13. My precious Pearl. You are the only one suitable to be the master of Karine, dear child. I sacrificed it all. All for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder and cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. That Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Reunion and turnabout. The end. A brand new episode's been added. Actually, I should probably just put that away since the name gets obscured. So yeah, uh, that 
that's uh, that's a little ominous. Uh, you played bitch games and you get bitch prizes. Yeah. What? What a controlling mom. Yep. Uh, does that come up again? We'll we'll have to see. I could say this. I'll say this. In this game, no. That does not. This, none of that comes up again. Don't worry. Uh, before I start, let me make sure I don't make the same mistake I made last game and split these into two recordings.